وجدت بعد رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سالت ما من ايام ما من ايام اعظم عند الله والعمل احب اليه من هذه الايام ايام العشر من الحجه that no other days are better than these ten days of the Hijjah. And the work in these days are more dearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during these ten days of the Hijjah. It was narrated by Ka'b radiallahu anhu. He said, the best times with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are al ashr al Haram that the sacred months, which is Al-Qa'dah, Al-Hijjah, Muharram, and Rajab. And the best amongst them is Dhul-Hijjah, this, this month, the 12th month of the lunar calendar. And the best in Dhul-Hijjah is the first 10. These 10 days are the ones referred in the Quran in Surah Al-Fajr. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wal-Fajr, Walayali Ashr. And also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَيَذْكُرُ اللَّهَ فِي عِيَّامٍ مَعْلُومَاتٍ To remember Allah in known days. These are the known days. These are the set known days. These are the most known days. The ten days of Dhul-Hijjah. Where Al-Hajj Al-Akbar, where the greatest gathering, the greatest event, in the Muslim calendar takes place, that is Al-Hajj. These are the days, the 10 days of the Hijjah, where the Prophet said, the best <coughs> is to fill them with Al-Tahleel wa takbir What is Al-Tahleel? La ilaha illallah. Al-Takbir, Allahu Akbar. And you know what? Subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wa la ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Huh? These are the best. And the, the Prophet when he said, أُولَئِكَ الْبَاقِيَاتُ الصَّالِحَاتِ These are the ones referred in the Qur'an as الْبَاقِيَاتُ الصَّالِحَاتِ Saying, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهُ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ huh? Very simple, very easy. Fill these ten days with this. This is number one virtue of these ten days. But what is the best to do in these days? As we said, Tasbih, Takbir, Tahleel, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. Keep saying it as much as your tongue can accumulate. Huh? As much as you can afford to say the good things. And these are on top of the good things. But of course, these are the days of Hajj. So Al Hajj, pilgrimage, performing pilgrimage is the utmost. For those who have to perform Hajj, who have not done it and they are capable of doing Hajj, this is the best thing to do during these days. Anyone who can perform Hajj is capable physically, financially, huh? legally to perform Hajj and did not perform Hajj is blamed for not doing it. This is the best to do during these days, performing Hajj. But for those who dared, and they don't want to go and compete with the people coming from all over the world, huh? you don't have to go there and compete with your fellow, fellow brothers and sisters who huh, took thousands of miles coming. You don't have to, but you can follow them. If you cannot stand on Arafat, you can always stand on the borders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you cannot spend the night in Muzdalifah asking Allah for forgiveness and repenting, you can spend your nights, the ten nights, huh? praying and asking Allah for forgiveness and help for your fellow Muslims and for support for others. If you cannot go and throw the pickles, huh? you can always huh? pick up your best times and spread the good dua to your fellow Muslims and all the fellow humans as well. 
and if you cannot be with them and offer a sacrifice there and you can financially, you can. You can offer a sacrifice, udhiyah, huh? during the Isteya, during the Eid of course, but you can intend now. And those who intend to sacrifice, to offer a qurban, udhiyah, it's a sunnah. It's the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ from tonight, from the first day of Al-Hijjah, to do like the muhrim, like the hajj, is to, to not to stop shaving any hair or clipping any nails. Because this is one of the things that the pilgrimage or the ihram, they're not supposed to do. Once a person puts the ihram, right, there are things they're not supposed to do. Of course, they can wash, they can take wudu, they can eat and walk and whatever. But they cannot put normal clothing. This is for male, for women, no? men. men. Women can dress in their own normal dress. But for men, they have to put these two pieces and no more of these normal clothing. But for all of them, men and women, they cannot take any part of their hair. And they cannot clip their nails. They cannot put perfume while they are in ihram. So, those who want to make udhiyah or qurban, it's a sunnah to follow the same. So, you, from tonight, or from maghrib today, to stop all of that. Following the pilgrims, the muhrims. What else during these days? During these days, these are the days, beloved to Allah and witnessed. The Prophet وسلم, used to fast these days. Fasting is a great worship, it's a great act of obedience. And if you combine these days of Hajj with fasting and some sadaqah and prayers, huh, then you are actually putting all pillars of Islam together and offering these to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and may Allah accept it for you. You're doing zakah, you're doing salah, you're doing hajj, you're doing a siyam. But the most and the best of course of these 10 days is the day of Arafah. The great, uh, the grand hajj. The great day of Arafah which is the ninth day of, uh, of the hijjah which as per the uh, Supreme Court yesterday, they announced it to be Sunday, right? Saturday? It's, right? Ah. It's Sunday, right? So, Sunday is the day of Arafah, and the Eid is in the next day. So the day of Arafah is very special, as we said. This days of the whole year is the days of the four months, the sacred months, Dhul-Qi'dah, Dhul-Hijjah, and Muharram and Rajab. And the best of them is Dhul-Hijjah. And the best of Dhul-Hijjah is these 10 days. Right? And you know, the most witness is the day of Arafah. What happens in the day of Arafah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that there is no other day, no other day Allah will forgive and sinned his mercy than the day of Arafah. No other day. And Allah will look at the people gathering in the plain of Arafah. And he will come closest, closer to them than ever. Yaknu Jalla wa ala subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will come closest to the people gathering in Arafah. And he will look at them and he will forgive them all. And he will tell his angels, look at my servants, came to me flocking from all over. Dusty and uh, curly head. Bear witnessing my oneness. Be my witness that I forgive them all. Yeah. Oh Allah, forgive them and us. O oh Allah, accept our hujjaj and us, Ya Rabbi O oh Allah, save the hujjaj and us, Ya Rabbi al and all the Muslims. This is the greatest and grandest day of the whole year. 
the day of Arafah, when Allah will forgive everyone in the day and everyone who prays for them and follows them. These are our delegates. The Hajjaj are not strangers. These are our representatives. They are the representatives of two billion Muslims around the world. Every country sends their representatives. Just like the children of Israel sent their uh, 67 or 70 so representatives to meet Allah in the valley of Sinai. In the, next to the plain of Tur, in the mountain of Tur. There is no more of that. Now we send people for Hajj to the plain of Arafah to declare the oneness of Allah and to give the covenant. لبيك اللهم لبيك. This is all covenant. لبيك لا شريك لك لبيك. Oh, here we are, Allah. Come, responding to your call that you uh, ordered Ibrahim, our grandfather, beloved grandfather Ibrahim, when he called people to come, here we come in. At that time, thousands and thousands of years ago, when Ibrahim stood there and there was no other people, now there are millions and millions of people answering your call, Ibrahim. Oh, here we are, Allah. We millions of Muslims coming and answering your call, declaring your oneness. La sharika lak. Labbayk Allahumma labbayk. Labbayk la sharika lak labbayk. Inna alhamda. Verily, all gratitude and thanks due to you, Ya No partners to you, and you are declaring you are one. This is the great day of Hajj that we witness these days. During these days, all sorts of good deeds is recommended. All sorts of salat al-rahim, to be good to your kids and relatives, of course. All sorts of sadaqah will be accepted and multiplied by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All sorts of good deeds and actions like fasting and prayers and night prayers. And your sadaqat like your udhiyah, your financial help to your relatives, as the Prophet said, the best sadaqah you make is what you give to your immediates. Start with your immediates, your wife, your children, your parents, your brothers, your sisters, your neighbors, your relatives. This is the best place you put your sadaqah. There's no point of sending it overseas when your neighbor needs it, when your next in kin needs it. There's no point of going now to your neighbors when your own child or your own brother didn't get you. So start with your closest circles and then go out and out and out. During these days, so we said salah, all sorts of salah, all sorts of sadaqah and zakat during these days and the fasting. Fasting during the 10 days, no, 9 days, right? Nine days. The first nine days, it's recommended, it's a sunnah to fast. But it's most important to fast, except for the hujjaj. The hujjaj are not supposed to fast. But for us, it's the best to fast the day of Arafah. And it's so much rewarding, like no other day. Because the Prophet ﷺ said, I hope Allah will forgive one past year and one coming year for fasting this day of Arafah. <laughs> one day. Fasting one day will give you a reward of two years. What a good deal. No other sale in the market will give you that. No one will give you this good deal except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One day fasting the day of Arafah could forgive you two years past year and coming here. Those who can, make sure don't miss this opportunity. This is once a year. Huh? This is once a year. This is the day of Arafah, which the Quran call it al -watr. And what is al shafa This is the odd day. It's the ninth day. It's an odd day. So what is al shafa What is the, makes it even? What makes it even is the Eid day. The Eid day. When it's the day of reward, it's the day of reward for the Hujjaj and for those who follow them, those who prayed for them, those who sent them as their representatives and waiting for them to come back. 
praying for their safety and for their success. This is the day of Eid. When it's your right to celebrate, it's your duty to enjoy and to celebrate this great day of Eid. We hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make this season a good season for the Hajjaj, a safe one and no casualties and no accidents, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We hope it will also bring peace and safety to our brothers in Syria and Palestine and Yemen and all around the world, Ya Rabbil Alameen. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept us and to the Hujjaj and to forgive them and us, Ya Rabbil Alameen, and to bring us to the day of Arafah and give us the strength to fast it and to accept it from us, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Allahumma Ameen. Allahumma ja'al hadha al-balad al-amina. Allah make this country safe and all other lands, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Wa sallillahu wa sallimu barik ala abdika wa sallimu Muhammad wa ala